Hello, I am drawing 34 diagrams in 34 days to help you with your micro AP economics. We are going to have a look at price floors. Step one, you're going to draw your axes. On your Y axis, you're going to have price. On your X axis, we're going to have quantity. We're going to show supply to the sky and demand sloping downwards. So an example of when the government may want to set a price floor might be for farmers. We want to make sure that the country is secure in its food production so that we're not reliant on other countries. And so we want farmers to be able to plan for their crops and plan for how much money they're going to make. So if we can assure them that there is a minimum amount that they're going to get for their grain, it means that they will continue to produce grain. Even if the price would have naturally fallen below that point in the market, the government guarantees a certain price. So we know that we form an equilibrium. And here is QFM, that's the quantity being produced in the free market. And PFM, that's the price that would be guaranteed by the free market. But if the government wants to come in and set a price floor, we would have a min price above the equilibrium price if it's going to have an effect. That means that at this new higher price, there's going to be a contraction along demand. Fewer people will be willing and able to buy this product. I've got my Q for demand. There's gonna be an extension in supply. If the min price is above the equilibrium price, there's going to be more incentive to farmers to produce that quantity. So here is QS. And what we have created is a surplus. Our supply is greater than our demand. That gap there is our surplus. What the government then can do is they can buy up this area so they can buy the surplus multiplied by the price and that gives us the the total value of the buffer stock that the government's going to buy up and you might have seen large stores of grain it could be because of a buffer stock scheme